So we've gotten to the point where you had some questions, I guess, mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Regarding emotional wellness. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> As a man, do you feel like taking steps toward emotional wellness is looked down on or not even looked to looked into because of a negative stigma? St whoa. <laughs> because of a negative stigma. I don't know. People don't look at guys and think of, you know, dealing with emotions or wellness or therapy or anything like that. I don't think it's anything that's looked down on. I think it's more ignored. You know, if, if you're a guy and you feel bad about something or you're hurt about something, it's expected for you to react with rage or anger or to react with uh, indifference instead of actually, you know, feeling the feelings and dealing with them the best way that you see fit or if you seek out a therapist, the best way that, that they see fit. Uh, I think for guys, like, it's, it's meant for us to just, like, deal with shit and bottle it up and just move on to the next one to keep surviving or providing for whoever we need to provide for when but that is not the way no it's not but i'm, I'm telling you i know i yeah, know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not the way and i i understand that for most of my life i did not uh because it's not anything that people, because there's a negative stigma toward it yeah i i think more so now it's not super negative i think it's i think there's more of an indifference and a a lack of acknowledgement that it's actually a thing that that a guy has emotions and that a guy needs to get shit off his chest and feel his feels and sometimes needs to, you know, be alone or be by themselves um, and do things to actually feel their feels. Like if you feel shitty, like you just shouldn't go out, you know, and down a fifth of Hennessy. You should right. <laughs> sit in your space, talk to who you need to talk to, uh, feel your feels. And it's okay. It's okay. And it's, to and it's totally fine. It's okay. Like, yeah. it's okay. Like, it's okay. But then there I are also some women that don't feel like guys should feel their feels. They should yeah, just I think that's insane. Do their thing and, and, that's and be the man. Toxicity. Toxicity? Toxicity. 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 I don't know. I don't know the right way to say toxicity. toxicity. It's like toxic and then you put city on the end. Yeah, well, um, that's toxicity. Um, Females who are, that's very bad. But. What's <laughs> funny is like, no, I was going to say something like what's funny is like I started doing yoga and then like I post my yoga videos on Instagram mm -hmm. and this guy that I grew up with in my neighborhood, he's like the, he's a tough, he's a tough dude, mm -hmm. tough dude. Um, He hit me up. He was like, yo, where do you like get your yoga moves from? And oh, that's then, dope. That's yeah. what's up. And it surprised me because, you know, and I think I'm, I'm in that, uh, we all are in that population also where it's like, you don't expect somebody like who grew up the way he did and grew up the way we did to really, Kudos to him. you know, Kudos jump into that. You. And and he did that and super proud. Yeah. It's dope. That is dope. That's mm -hmm. what's up. I, yeah, I definitely love, um, especially if I love when anybody feels like they can feel, cause these days it honestly, girls aren't allowed to feel it either at this point. Uh, Even, it's more accepted. Of course it's definitely more accepted, but honestly, uh, nowadays, emotion is especially my like my generation. I don't know. Emotion is a sign of weakness, and now nobody can feel, and nobody has feelings, and I don't care about nothing. Cause y'all are savages. Yeah, I guess savage. Like I don't know. Y'all, like, everybody's a everybody's a savage. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. And it, it, and that's what that's why I feel like this is so important because it's okay. To feel. It is important. It's okay. It's okay to feel. It's like, okay to feel your feels. It doesn't make you weak or. You can Any? be you can be an emotional savage. Yeah, exactly. I'm an emotional savage. Like, it's possible. I, I guess, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I, I, that's how I feel about guys and when it comes to like emotional wellness and feeling your feels. Like it, it's it's getting better to where you know if you express that to somebody like a guy friend or a female friend, it's easier if they're your peers. Do you also feel like there's a certain amount of um, do you feel like there's a certain amount of pressure on like being the strong one? I mean, I put that pressure on myself. Okay, and then so how do you feel like that just that directly affects? I think for me it's good. I think it's good because you I mean, you have to put as a guy, this is just it like you have I'm not to put, saying because sorry. Put, no, you have to being put strong pressure isn't on yourself. necessarily bad, but No, you have to put pressure on yourself to be strong and have a certain degree of strength um or else you'll be weak. Mm -hmm. And, you know, certain moments and feeling weak are fine. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, um, 
you know, everybody wants to get to a point where they feel strong. Like nobody wants to. But that's the thing. Emotional wellness is the, when you are emotionally well, that is the ultimate strength. Nobody, nothing can affect, can really truly affect because at the end of the day, you're feeling, you're feeling what you're feeling. You're understanding it doesn't necessarily mean weakness. Like it's actually the complete opposite. No, I don't. I feel like it's. No, I don't look at it as weakness, but I do look, I do look at, I look at it being emotionally well as being very strong. Yeah, Um, it it is the definition. But then you also as a guy like you have to put pressure on yourself to be to be strong and have a certain degree of strength it's just something that and maybe it's like still my like old-fashioned way of thinking but it's just a way that you know you got to be like you got to you know provide to a certain extent be a support system to a certain extent um i feel like one of the biggest things now that shouldn't that should not mean because my question was um, do you feel like that puts a pressure or, or pushes you away from being emotionally well? Oh, no, it doesn't. No, oh, okay. not at all. If anything, like it, you, when you feel better emotionally, you are stronger and can carry it's more, true. you know, Every- carry more period. Um, I'm definitely like not being emotionally stable is, um, literally chaos. Like if you, yeah, but nobody's well, emotionally are, stable. Well, y- that's not true. Nobody, that's- there's no. There is no individual in this planet that's emotionally stable. That's they not have found, true. They, they have found a way. People who, first of all, people who have found have found their inner being. And, yeah, but there are know, moments of instability. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, of course, everybody is gonna feel what they feel. When I say unstable, I'm talking about when you act on it. So like, emotions are a roller coaster. They go up and they go down. And if you ride that wave, you are going to be as unstable as they come. And I can say that from personal experience. So I feel like that's more of the weakness than actually taking the steps of emotional wellness the, and... Yeah, the weakness is not acknowledging it at all. The weakness is ignoring and pushing it down and not dealing with it. You heard that? Absolutely. Did you hear that? So, uh... Did you guys hear that's that? That's where... <laughs> I just want to know because that's the weakness. That's case. where the... Yeah, that's where the weakness lies. Loop that. But, um, but I, I think it's really important. Um, and I know you also wanted me to speak about experiences where I reacted... I guess, like, very immediately off of an emotion. Oh, yeah, yes. Tell me of a time that you have immediately acted on your feels without stepping back, acknowledging why you're feeling it, being aware of it, just... Uh, I mean, I've punched walls. I punched a hole in my closet in the bedroom. Uh, I've said wild shit to people that I care about, which is not cool, also. Me too. uh, Because then it kind of, like, severs those relationships, and then you have to go back and mend them, and, and that's hard, and that's tough also to get them to trust that that's not a thing that you're gonna do consistently in the future. Um, I think that's like the extent of it for me. Of course, like probably drinking um, and like just like trying to like drown out her I was feeling with alcohol and going out and loud you just music. Feel like shit the next day. Yeah, and girls. Um, instead of, you know, like we've been discussing for the past like 30 minutes, actually feeling your feels, dealing with them, feeling the hurt, feeling the pain. And knowing that there is a light at the end of that tunnel. Once yes. you purely take the time to understand your feelings and how you can get past it. Yes. 